The Fall Guy is a 2024 American action comedy film directed by David Leitch and written by Drew Pierce, loosely based on the 1980s TV series. The plot follows a stuntman, Ryan Gosling. What happened to your face? You look terrible. You look amazing. Working on his ex-girlfriend's Emily Blunt directorial debut action film, only to find himself involved in a conspiracy surrounding the film's lead actor, Aaron Taylor Johnson. The cast also features Hannah Waddingham, Teresa Palmer, Stephanie Hsu, and Winston Duke. The Fall Guy premiered at SXSW on March 12, 2024, and was released in the United States on May 3rd by Universal Pictures. It received generally positive reviews from critics and has grossed $145 million worldwide. It also set a Guinness World Record for the most canon roles performed in a car. Colt Seavers, a Hollywood stunt performer, works as the stunt double for famous action star Tom Ryder. However, he is severely injured during a stunt gone wrong, and he abandons his career and his girlfriend Jodie Moreno, a camerawoman. Eighteen months later, Colt, now a valet for a small Mexican restaurant, is contacted by Gail Meyer, Tom's film producer. She tells him that Jody is directing her first film, a science fiction epic titled Metal Storm, and wants Colt to join the production in Sydney. After arriving on set, Colt learns that Jody never asked for him and is still angry about their breakup. With the film being a less than subtle attempt at airing her grievances at Colt, Colt and Jody seem to have genuine chemistry from the way they interact with each other. It's the strong eye contact, their shared sense of humor, and how comfortable the two characters seem together. Anyone but him. I didn't approve him. You know that. You are literally the last person on earth I want to see. It slapped the shit out of you. I really could. And I'm open to that in a safer environment. The sound design of the movie is excellent. Viewers will enjoy the music and sound effects that were played during the stunt scene at the shopping complex where the big accident happens. The use of music in that scene really intensifies the atmosphere. During the valet scene, there is some humorous narration by Colt that makes his character more likable. Colt also has some funny lines when talking to his producer, Gail. If you're a fan of 90s rock, you will really enjoy the music choice of this movie. The scene where Colt retrieves the car from the parking lot will reward car fans with some beautiful engine and tire screeching noises and some skillful driving. The dynamic camera positioning in this movie is exceptional. The way the camera pans around the room to give the audience a better view of the surrounding environment or when the camera flies upwards while Colt was scaling up the ladder to show us a bird's eye view of scenery. This is insane, man. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Costume design in this movie was not taken for granted. We see Colt and the cast in many different kinds of costumes. Sometimes serious costumes, sometimes silly, like the alien one. They are high quality designs. The environments in this movie are also variable. We go from beaches, nightclubs, hotel rooms, inside a car, on the freeway, and on a super yacht. It's a real treat if you enjoy a change of scenery. There is a bit of narration in this film, but it doesn't last throughout the entire movie. The scene at the beach with the megaphones is an example of Colt and Jody's chemistry. It was delightful. Emily Blunt's acting was energetic and full of range. Her character will leave the audience mesmerized. This movie does not suffer from any lighting issues. Everything is always visible. The action and fight scenes are also very well choreographed. The acting of the other characters also deserves praise. Dan Tucker and Colt's bromance with the movie Guessing Game the bodyguard mercenary character was also memorable from his funny body language, facial expressions, and his remarks. I never forget a fist. 
I don't mean it like that. Gale's energetic character, who is exhilarating to watch, and Ryder, who is this overconfident, narcissistic, and self-centered movie star. Audiences will find many positive things about this movie. This movie is not a brand new intellectual property. It's adapted from an old TV show from the 80s. The movie features a lot of narration, and it does become irritating. Even though sometimes it is funny, viewers will find too much narration to be boring. The megaphone flirting scene felt a bit long. It started funny and charming, but it became irritating. The music isn't always good. That can be subjective for each viewer, but it does play some Taylor Swift and 90s rock music. When the editing switched from Jody at the karaoke bar to Colt at the park with the dog and back to Jody, it became irritating and felt overused. The chase scene that followed was disorientating in a bad way, with the constant switching between Jody and the Colt character. The phone call between Jody at the movie studio and Colt also felt too long. As far as stuntman main character movies go, it is the best movie in its class. The Fall Guys is a funny, action-packed romantic comedy with many stunts and a story that is easy to follow. It is a well-made movie that is definitely worth watching for action, romance, and comedy fans. That's me, Colt Seavers, and this is my hero's journey.